Um, I'm McKenna Johnston, senior running back from Jupiter, Florida. What's special about the place you grew up? Um, I grew up on the water and on the beach. Um, so being from South Florida, like I got to spend every day of every season um, completely outside in the sun. And so that's what's uh, pretty special. Are you usually early or late? I'm pretty early, I'm pretty early. What's the best way to start the day? The best way to start the day uh, with a nice cup of coffee. What are you addicted to? I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> What's your ideal pet? Um, my ideal pet, I grew up with labs, um, so Labrador Retriever is the best it gets. What stereotype do you completely live up to? The stereotype I completely live up to is, I guess, based on my hometown, probably uh, South Florida beachy guy. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Um, with, if I didn't have to sleep, what I would do with the extra time, I'd probably like to learn um, other languages, how to speak fluently, or maybe pick up an instrument. What's the most annoying habit that other people have? The most annoying habit other people have are loud chewers, people who smack their gum too. That's pretty obnoxious. What are some small things that make your day better? Um, some small things. Uh, I've lived with Matt Scrill a couple years, and when he, when he gives me a compliment, that makes my day better. What's the best single day on the calendar? By far the best single day on the calendar is Christmas. What's something you think everyone should do at least once in their lives? Um, some, something someone should do once in their lives. After having spent last semester traveling abroad, I think spending a significant amount of time um, somewhere outside the United States is pretty amazing. So something I think people should do. Where's the most interesting place you've been? Um, while I was abroad, uh, the most interesting place I got to go, um, I visited Dubai, but also Krakow, Poland. Um, it was a pretty cool experience just because of the history there. Um, it was very, very interesting. What are you looking most forward to in the next 10 years? What I'm looking forward to most in the next 10 years are probably my buddies' weddings. So see who they end up with and get to celebrate that with them. I'm probably looking forward to that.